I'm Peter and this is my vlog about shooting the TV series about the climbing with Adam Ondra and Martin Stranik here in Macedonia and in the Greece. Well, outside it's freezing and climbing is just, just an extreme. Adam Ondra is uh, probably one of the best climbers of the world. Not probably, he is probably. No, probably, he is the best climber of the world. Uh, he did the world's hardest route. By the way, the, the silence, the world hardest route uh, Adam climbed was my first appointment with Adam. It was the first time I met him in Norway, in Flatanger. Uh, when I came there, uh, it, was, it was great. Uh, we went to the big cave, Hanseluren. So I, I was really, really happy to be asked to, to make the drone footage of his ascent of silence. This was Epsom and we did a big job there. It was, whew, it was one of the hardest drone flying in my life, flying from the cave, from inside, um, just to the fjords where there was a strong wind. And uh, well, it was delicious, it's absolutely delicious. Uh, I came to Norway for just 36 hours maybe, not more, but it was definitely worth it. Then I met Adam in Bosnia and uh, in uh, Croatia as well, with Petr Horki, who is the best uh, director of the documentaries of the Czech Republic, probably. At least one of the best. And we were filming, uh, we were filming a documentary for the Czech broadcast. It was, it was great as well. So the next session is coming uh, with Adam. We should go to Macedonia and to, to Greece. I, I've never been to there in my life before. I'm looking forward to Macedonia and all these, uh, all, all these sessions start uh, with the gear usually. So now it's five days to start uh, to the adventure. So it's time to uh, collect all the gear I need from my sponsors because I cannot buy all the stuff uh, by myself. Okay, so now I'm reaching the stable camp. This is the Czech distributor of the DJI. I have some good friends here and I ask them to support me for the adventure with Adam. So I hope that I will get some nice stuff. I got some batteries uh, from Mavic 
I got also some filters, these are the neutral density and polarizing filters for Mavic 2 Pro. So right now it's three days to start, so I left my daughters in the kindergarten and traveled to Prague. I did train and to visit my sponsors to get some work equipment I will need. I like to go to Nikon for the new Nikon Z7 and a TZ adapter. Já si myslím, že tvý blogísek budu muset sledovat. I went also to the shop for Škoda, who supports me since the very beginning of my career and they made somehow that I could get new 300mm lens, which I really wanted to grab with me, as it's small and uh, is handy. So it's just one day to start, so I have to pack all my stuff I will need for filming. Well, <laughs> in uh, in photo Škoda, uh, I didn't realize that I, I took the bad uh, type of lens. I wanted the new version with the fuller lens, and uh, I took the old version of 300 mm lens. So I realized it at home, it parked a bit, so 100 km from the shop. So the shop uh, decided to send me uh, the new lens, the new version of the lens to my home to get it for the, for the trip with me. <laughs> Nobody knows how, how it's possible, but the delivery service uh, delivered the lens to my mother. She's living 20 km from us, <laughs> in a different city. <coughs> Nobody knows how they <coughs> got her number. And how other reason they delivered the lens to her. And my car is in the service right now, so I don't know what to do. Probably I'm, I'm with the lens. So I just decided to change the clothes and I, I will take my bike and go for my mother to take the lens because I really want to have the lens uh, with me and it will be 40 kilometers. However, it's uh, snowed. Yeah, it snows a lot. It's a little bit windy, and I have just about 75 to 80 minutes to pick up my uh, daughters from the kindergarten. So I'm running out. I am. I am about behind of the half of the way a little bit. I would say I am pretty fast, but not so fast as I thought so. So I'm not sure if the time and I will be in the garden. For my daughter is however I have to more <laughs> yeah. still about 25 kilometers to go. Come on. So I'm here. 20 kilometers about 45 minutes. Ciao. So I have the lens, however strong wind. Ah. This was this was definitely crazy, but I did it. I managed it. I'm back, let's say, in time with the lens so I can take it with me. I'm completely frozen. Completely. Yeah. Getting with the more than 40 kilos of the gear by the public transport to the terrain was an adventure itself. However, I did it and finally stepped in the car of the Czech TV and into the balcony.
right now we are in the Skopje in Macedonia at the airport and uh, we are waiting for Peter Horky who is coming from Slovakia. He's the director of the series. Mr. Horky. Mr. Horky. So from the airport in Skopje we moved to the Prilep, which should be the famous bothering spot. arrived this morning we just bought some stuff to cleaning the boulders which will be probably under the snow The team is complete right now. Uh, it consists of Adam, of course, as well as uh, Martin Stranik, who is I have some Czech boulder, boulder man and climber. Then Peter is the director. <laughs> 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 and we are four cameramen at the moment. So I am here for the drone time lapse, gimbal, and some stuff like this. Then there is uh, Bernardo, who is <laughs> epic climber. He's really good, good filmmaker. <laughs> ah, I missed the way. And then there is uh, Honza Shimane, who is a specialist on the climbing movies. He is a really good guy. He has a very bad sense of humor, but, but <laughs> he's fine. Co děláš, vole, já tam nechci být v tom filmu. A of course, Pavel Otevřel, který je to Czech, velmi experienced filmmaker, profesionální filmmaker z dokumentarů, zvláště. Takže pro kameramanů, Radek, Radek je Soundmaster, Lubo, driver a samozřejmě produkční man, nejlepší guy. And finally, three Macedonian guides who are here for us to show Adam the best places and so on. So that's it. It's really cold now. I have the dawn jacket and uh, most important thing is to warm the batteries enough, so yeah, I hope it's warm now. Should have 15 degrees. So we are done for today guys have the project uh, so tomorrow they would like to try again and uh, they are definitely different species of the human <laughs> they are different species than human because they are climbing on the ice and it's oh my god yeah, we, are, we are frozen with the cameras and they are climbing it's, they are touching the stone with the hands Whew. Jsi to rozmýšlel, ne? Jsi si přispěl nebo ne? Good? Yeah.
Next day it was much more sunny and we couldn't wait for the second attempt. <laughs> So, <laughs> here in Macedonia, it's a uh, New Year's Eve today. They have a Julian calendar. While we are using the Gregorian calendar, they have the Julian calendar. So, they are 14 days later. So, it's a Sylvester, it's a New Year's. <laughs> they are partying pretty hard, drinking a lot of alcohol and dancing. <laughs> so, I'm going to see how the dance works here in Macedonia. Finally, this was a time to move, so we went to Meteora in Greece to make something awesome. This night should be clear, so I would like to go again here to these places to make some time lapse of the night and the stars, and probably again uh, for the sunrise to make sure that I have enough B roll footage uh, for the series. So, after I, I lost the sun and the sunset partly and broke the motorized slayer, I decided to not go to sleep. I took the director Peter, he's just here <laughs> and we went here on the, on the great viewpoint on Meteora we are above here maybe two hours it's minus five uh, I was shooting two time lapses <laughs> and it's, it's really windy now so I, the wind is so strong that <laughs> it now uh, ended my time lapse well first of all the battery 
got over. Despite the fact it was full, it worked just half an hour. And the second problem was that I took the tripod positioned here. I went to the second time lapse and uh, went uh, <laughs> just took my tripod and uh, my lens is completely broken. So today I broke two two things. It's, this is not normal for me at all. However, this is the cheapest lens I have. So I'm happy that I broke this. This is 10, 10 to 20. It's my favorite lens. And I broke just the bayonet. So I really hope that we can repair it. Be careful of your technique. <laughs> Still, it's not over. Still, you are not in your bed. Be careful. Yeah, that's true, that's Count true. every step. Yeah. Slowly. One, yeah. two, yeah. right, yeah. left. Come on. We'll do it together, buddy. Come on. <laughs> After she did sunset and uh, after she did night, when I broke my D500 um, and lost my time lapse, I decided to make second hand, as Peter says, and to go for the, another sunrise. And it was great uh, for flying the drone. I, I think this was this was perfect, and um, I have really good footage. I, I'm really, I'm really happy with that footage. So. Whew. last day in Greece and I don't at all today I, I, I have no idea how I got there I, how I got here because uh, I am standing on a very steep ridge on the ice uh, with my Solomon running shoes uh, oh my god <laughs> I don't know how to get down <laughs> I have no clue to get down now Ooh, I still have to admire Bernardo and Honza who are who are my heroes? <laughs> uh, they are on the ropes and the wind and uh, facing the freezing wind. 